doing guys this is CJ and welcome back to another video on my channel now in today in this video I'm going to be showing you the gift cards to friends glitch the workaround as well as the PS4 and PS5 version of the gift cards to friends glitch okay. now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a nightclub you're gonna need basement level 1 and 2 and of course the nightclub garage and you're going to need an MLC with personal vehicle storage and you're going to need an LG in the back as well as in your basement level 2 okay guys now once you have all of that oh you're also going to need a friend I've almost forgot you're going to need a friend and he's going to need to be able to go into a Titan of a job and he's you're going to need uh, he needs to have the card that he's going to be giving you, okay? Now, after you have all of that, what you're going to go do is you're going to go to your nightclub and you're going to go into uh, your nightclub, um, the nightclub level, okay? Now, once you go into the nightclub level, what you're going to do is you're going to tell your friend to go into a Titan of a job. Once he goes into a Titan of a job, uh, you're, he's basically going to sit on that screen for for basically this part of the glitch okay guys now now what you're going to do is after he's in a tight number job you're going to go up to the elevator and hover over basement level one once you hover over basement level one what you're going to do is you're going to press your ps button and go to his name once you go to his name click on view profile and then go all the way down to GTA 5 click on GTA 5 and it should say join now what you're gonna do on PS5 is you're gonna you have to do this quick you're gonna press X on join and then X on basement level 1 and then X on are you sure you want to join and wait five seconds and then accept this second alert okay now what you're gonna do from there is basically what it's gonna do is you're gonna go down and it's gonna make you fall through the map and then you should load into your basement level one without a map okay now once you load into your basement level one without a map what you're gonna do is you're just gonna simply leave the garage okay and uh, you're gonna leave the garage and go outside now once you do that what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, if you do have a vehicle out you're gonna return it to storage okay now what you're going to do is you're going to call your mechanic and you're going to request the vehicle, any vehicle from basement level 2. Once you request any vehicle from basement level 2, what you're going to do is you're just simply going to get into it and drive it into basement level 2. Alright guys, now um, I'm just going to have you watch this gameplay real quick. So basically what, what I'm doing right now is requesting the car, you're going to pause and so, so you could actually look for the car because you don't have a map and you're going to just get into the car. Once you get into the car, you're going to drive it over to the garage and you're going to click on basement level 2, basically the garage that you just took it out of. Once you click on basement level 2, you should get this screwed up screen right here. Well, all you're going to do is press triangle to get out. Once you press triangle to get out, you should spawn on the top of the map. All you're going to do is open your traction menu and take the easy way out. Now, once you take the easy way out, you should spawn on the map again, on top of the map. And all you're going to do from here is steal a streetcar, okay? Now, um, you can't use the, your existing car because of course it's under the map now and you, uh, you probably could call out another vehicle but I do not recommend it only because I've never done it like that so if you do that if it works let me know but yeah so basically all I'm doing is stealing a street car right here so now you can either do one to two things you can either go to uh, an ammunition or you can go to a clothing shop to get your map back or you could just go straight to the glitch spot 
and do the other steps that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So basically in this video I'm just going to ammunition, going into there, uh, go to armor, the armor table, and I'm just going to press right D-pad and back out. Now, once I do that, as you can see, my map did come back. So now that my map came back, you're just going to get back into the street car, whatever car you got, and you're just going to go straight to the glitch spot. Once you get at the glitch spot, so uh, the glitch spot is right there on the map. I just showed you that. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I stutter a lot and stuff like that, so I'm sorry guys. So once you get to that spot, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to um, look over the way I'm looking in this video, and you're going to request your mobile operations center. Now my friend uh, actually looked in the location where it, did, where, uh, where it could spawn at. So it did spawn right down the street from me, no big deal, just go and go and get it. Get into the MOC and drive it where I do in the video. So I'm getting inside the MOC and I'm going to drive it over to the location that I usually put it in. You can put it anywhere, you just need to make sure that the blue circle is not blocked, okay? Now, the reason why I'm making this video long and, and like, um, like, not cutting too many things is because in my last video, I didn't really do a very good job, and I still don't think this video is that good of a job, but hopefully you guys can understand it. So once you guys put, put your MOC into that spot, what you're going to do is you're just going to call a LG from either from your MOC or from the mechanic. See, I had a car that I wanted to keep inside my MOC, so this would be basically the repeat process. So therefore, after you got a car in your MOC that you received, you would do this to repeat. So you just call any LG from any garage and what you're going to do is once the LG spawns, you're just going to get into it and then you're going to have your friend get into it. So there's my second account or my main account even. So I'm getting into the car now and my second account is going to get in the car with me. And basically all they're going to do is they're going to go uh, and pull up their phone go to contacts and click on like any any player and then send a message but you're actually not going to send a message you're just going to stay on that screen your friend is going to stay on that screen all right now once your friend stays on that screen once he lets you know that he's on that screen all you're going to do is pull up in the back of your mlc and press right d-pad now since i already have a vehicle in there i'm just going to press x on the personal vehicle storage full alert now, all you're going to do is wait for your friend to get out of the car, or to force him out of the car, and now what you're going to do is you're going to press triangle, and then to get out of the car, and then you're going to go to Franklin, once you get an alert, press circle, and then go and enter alone inside the MLC. Okay, now wait 7 to 8 seconds, and then after that, just go up to Franklin, and then you should get the alert, press circle, and then get into the passenger side because they patched the the um, the first per the sorry the one the one person cars the one seater cars. Um, I know there is a workaround, but unfortunately, I don't really trust it, so that's why I don't do it. So I only do two seater cars. Now, just to repeat, all you're gonna do basically what you would do is you would just exit your MLC, pull out, and uh, call your mechanic, pull out another LG, get, uh, you get into the car, your friend gets into the car, pulls up the keypad, or the, the keyboard even, and you're basically just going to go up to the MLC, press right D-pad, and then once you press right D-pad, all you're going to do is, is, um, once you press right D-pad, get out, or, uh, have, wait for your friend to get out, pull it, pull it back, 
and then get out of the car, go to Franklin, and then go in there, or uh, press circle on the alert, and then go into there alone, and then you're basically gonna, you know, from there. So basically that's all you guys have to do. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did understand it. I tried to have the footage a little bit more uh, so I can explain it because I because I kind of explain it fast. So I try to like have more, you know, it, it's just the way I am. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss another YouTube video. My, uh, if you guys do want to go follow me on Twitter or uh, Instagram, the link is down below. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.